Welcome to Makeup Mug Whoop. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. This morning we have a treat. You asked and we delivered. Today you're getting a full face of drugstore makeup. What makeup, you say? I don't know. Because Mr. Mugwump bought it for me. Thank you. He went to Walgreens and he spent an exorbitant amount of money because Mr. Mugwump doesn't look at price tags when he shops for makeup. <laughs> I have no idea what's in this bag. So we're gonna do a haul of Mr. Mugwump buys my makeup and then we're gonna put it on my face and I have to go to work today. So um, here's hoping. I do know that there's no mascara and that's that's the only thing. And I don't think there's a specific eyeshadow primer. So I'm, I might have to supplement a couple of items. They will be uh, just, we'll, we'll slap them on. Okay. The rest of the face is, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I didn't know what to wear this morning. So I just put something on. Here we go. Okay. So this is a Walgreens bag and we're pulling out foundation that I don't know that I have ever in my life. Neutrogena Skin Clearing. Blemish treatment with salicylic acid. This is in classic ivory number 10. That looks yellow as all get out, right, y'all? That looks, let's, you know what? It could be perfect. Uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette. This is in the shade Sunkissed. We're going to be very golden today. That's what we're going to be. CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow in Soft Brown. That's better than Auburn, right? We might not look like an alien. We got, <laughs> we got a four pack of Kiss Lashes in Little Black Dress. Those are nice. Those are very nice. The Faux Mink Collection. We got a four pack. Because we need to make sure. We have a CoverGirl Ink It All Day Pencil Eyeliner in black. That's good because the band on these lashes, right? Like it's a noticeable band. So now I have an eyeliner. That's good. That's good. I don't, it's Monday. I'm wearing, I, oh, it's double bag. I'm so sorry for the noise. It's terrible, isn't it? It's awful. I did not know they had this brand at Walgreens. Honest Beauty, Honest Beauty, Invisible Blurring Loose Powder in Translucent. I did not know they had this brand at Walgreens. Look at there. We're learning something every day. Neutrogena Prep and Correct Primer. It's tone correcting. Y'all, every single one of these items I do not have, and I have a ton of makeup, I'm telling you. This man has a knack. I don't have this either. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. It's metallic. The NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Brights. I don't have this either. This is the one they put the, the pride box on and, it, you know. There, there it is. There's my eyeshadow palette. Going for a natural look today, kids. The L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. That's very pretty. I don't have any. This is in Rosewood. That's very pretty. Carvel Girl Simply Ages, Ageless Anti-Aging Foundation Primer. I don't have, I have none of these. Oh, there's one more thing. It's very light. Oh, it's a concealer. How does he do this? Fresh Clean Cover Girl Hydrating Concealer in 310 Porcelain. Y'all, I have no idea how this man does this. He, I have so much makeup. 
I've, I have none of, not a single one of these items. Never tried them. So full face, first impressions, full face, drugstore, full face. I, God, I hope this works better than it did before. I'm going to slap on just a smidge of eye primer real quick. Um, just to get that, cook it on my lid so that it's there when we're ready to do eyes. And... There's something that's telling me to do eyes first, but I don't think I'm gonna. Y'all, this this is gonna be an adventure. Okay, so, and yeah, so he, he got everything except mascara. Uh, I have lash glue, because I don't think this one comes with lash glue, which is fine, because I don't normally use their lash glue. Okay, so here's the haul. <laughs> Y'all, this is really really yellow but may it might work it might work it might work this is pretty okay i'm sorry i'm just talking about all the things instead of actually getting down to business i'm sorry all right so i got two primers i don't know what this is about let's let's look at them both real quick um i like the covergirl and olay like um simply ageless foundation i like that a lot okay so the this primer the covergirl primer is like a lotion primer okay Neutrogena Prep and Correct Primer. Had all kinds of protection on it. That's good. He went to Walgreens to, to get a pulse oximeter. And I said, hey, while you're there, do you want to? And he was like, no. And then he came home with the bag and I was like, yes. Okay, the Prep and Correct Primer is... Um, not... It's silicone -y, but it's okay. So let's use this one, and let's see what we get here. Um, we'll use about that much, and let's see here. It's silicone -y, but not, like, overly silicone -y. Like, it's not, like, Maybelline baby skin, which is nothing but silicone, you know what I mean? But it's, it's a little bit, it's like a, it's like between silicone and lotion, if that makes any sense. Okay. There is absolutely zero tone correcting. To this primer <laughs> it's like they tint it a slight beige color and we're gonna call it tone correcting okay we'll see how that goes i've never even heard of this uh so that's great let me scooch some things out here real quick okay so let me get my handy dandy palette here and let's shake the ever-loving crap out of this this again this is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Makeup. Skin Clearing. So it's got salicylic acid in it. My, the only foundation that I have that has a salicylic acid in it is the one from e.l.f., the um, the little acne. I don't know what it's called because it's not on the bottle, but it's that one. Um, that one runs dark too, by the way, as far as coloring goes. Okay, so this is yellow. This is yellow. Okay, hang on. Let me get some out. This is like a pour bottle, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Like we're we are at the drugstore. But I'll tell you, drugstore prices, they ain't playing these days, are they? They acting like they Sephora in there, don't they? Like it's like, mm-mm. Okay, so uh we have a lot to cover. You know, I like medium to full coverage if I have my preference. I I do use some sheer coverages for some things that is very yellow, but it might it might work. Let's see. I did not put my under eye stuff on. Oh, this is sheer. Oh, Lord. We, yeah. Well, that's different than the last foundation that we got, which was, uh, I'm going to put a whole lot on and let's see if we can, like, it's not building, y'all. We're going to be sheer coverage today, kids. We're going to put it on half the face and you can tell me down below whether or not you see a, a bit of difference in one side of my face than the other. Is this supposed to have any kind of coverage? It won't clog pores, right? Okay, it's not gonna clog your pores because it's not even there. I just put a whole glop on one side of my face. I'm not getting any out. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There's half my face done. But you know, it, it did take down redness. I will give it that. 
It did take down some redness. It is, this is light coverage, y'all. Sheer light coverage here. Very, very light coverage. If you haven't seen this, I think it's going to be a series because apparently everybody likes this. I like it. It's hilarious uh, to see what the man brings back because, and I, I'm going to send him to like Dollar General. I'm, I'm literally going to do it to him. I might even send him to Dollar Tree if I really... I'm not sure I understand. Don't watch me talking to me today. I might send him over to Dollar Tree and make him try to find a full face if I'm like mad at him, if he pisses me off, you know. But Dollar General will be good enough. Well, they have Believe Beauty. That'll be easy. Um, <laughs> I like Believe Beauty. It's beautiful. But there's the there's the foundation on. I can't. It did. It did. I'm gonna do a second coverage right on the the part of my cheek that I have the most discoloration. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do that a little bit more there, and then we're gonna rely on the concealer for the rest. Okay, I need, I need to quit being ugly before I actually put the foundation on because it it did really well in a, in a different way than I would normally do it. And it is yellow. Like, I'm going to have to kind of, you know, do a little bit of some of this. But it's, if I mixed it with a little bit of a pink foundation, you know, one that, that leans just a little bit pinker, I think it would be just fine for the color. I could I could adopt the color to what I need. I don't think that's bad at all, y'all. Uh, it's a lot better than his first choice, which I've worn a couple of times since then. The Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup. It's blemish treatment with salicylic acid. There you go. It's got 0.05% of salicylic acid. That's not bad. What, I mean, what y'all think? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, let's try the concealer. This is the Clean, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer in 310 Porcelain. It is still sealed. He's like fastidious about the sealing. You know, so. Oh, that's light, y'all. That's very light. Okay, let's do one eye at a time because I don't know what I'm dealing with. Okay. All right. That is very, that's light enough. Not super coverage, but it is brightening. This might work really well with that Jekka Black color corrector that I got. That I didn't even know that I liked it, but I do like it. It's a little super thin peach color corrector for under the eye. It's almost like salmon color and uh, it works really well too. But it's like super, super thin, super liquidy. Okay. There's the concealer. I don't think that's bad at all. I'm gonna just pounce just a little bit right on my lid. Just what's left. I think that's not, I thought that's nice. Okay, he got me a Translucent setting powder here, which is sealed. Let me get my scissors. Did you know Honest Beauty was at Walgreens? Is that, I mean, I thought that was a Target only thing. Maybe I'm crazy. But isn't that like Jessica Alba's brand? Like that's her brand, right? Honest Beauty. Have I got the right Jessica? I think I do. Ooh, that's yellow. Y'all, we yellow today, kids. We yellow today. All right. Okay. So it's got... A little, I don't know why it's so weird. And then there's a mesh. This is yellow. This is the translucent, to be fair to him. This is the translucent. So let me use a little, a little puffy thing here to press it under the eyes. I'm going to get a little bit to do under the eyes. That darkened a bit, didn't it? Yes, it did. That darkened my under eyes. Dang it. I hate it when that happens. 
And then let's get, this is the only powder we got kids. So we're gonna darken the whole face. <laughs> there are powders that will darken only certain concealers. And there are certain concealers that darken no matter what powder. I mean, you know what I mean? Like you just have to try the combination for me anyway. Like that's how it works on my skin. Well, I can say I'm mattified. To be sure, I'm mattified. This is incredible. This is very, very thinly milled, very fine. It is translucent, but that is a very yellow tinted powder. It's called Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. Feels incredibly silky on the skin, but that's. My coloring is off today. Let me see if I can real quick just like like a blend real quick. I don't know if it'll help or not, but maybe it will. I don't see a bronzer, y'all. I see this highlighter. <laughs> Let's do brows. Let's do the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow in soft brown. Let's do brows real quick. Last time I got an Auburn Brow Gel. Um, this time I have a soft brown pencil. So he's listening, folks. Okay, it's one of these weirdly shaped little pencils. Like really weird. One of those. And then, does it got a spoolie? Hello? No, sp no spoolie. Let me, let me just, I'll just grab a spoolie. Okay. So uh, I can't seem to roll it back down. So that was my bad. Okay. Not too waxy, not too creamy. It is kind of dark. For a soft brown but I think it's okay the shape is interesting it makes it very easy to kind of draw the line underneath and then to go up that sh I don't think I've had a pencil in this shape before but I can see the advantage of a shape like this Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Mine are distant cousins from different sides of the family. Can I please roll this back down? Okay, I was able to. Whew. All right, that's, there you go. I don't have a brow gel, but that's okay. I don't always have to have one. Um, so that's, that's okay. All right, let's, let's try to bronze with the highlighter palette. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude. It's literally gold and gold and gold and a, an orange gold. He is just all about the yellows today. That's what I've got, y'all. I'm probably going to highlight with that one. And I guess I'm going to bronze with that. There's really... Now, I could do like a blush draping moment. I'm going to try to bronze with this because I don't know what else to do. Okay, let's just, you know what? We're just going to, we're going for it. Let's go. Let's go, bronzer. It is. No, let's, this is not it. We're doing it anyway. Well, we had to do it on the other side. Okay, we're just going to, we're going to have a sun-kissed look today. We are going to look sun-kissed. Today, we are going to look very, very glowy today on the upper half of our body. It's, this is just, this is who we are. We're glowy. Okay. This doesn't work as a bronzer. <laughs> I mean, it does, but it also doesn't. There 
you go. Okay. So if you were hoping that I would be able to like bra, I'm not, I'm not able to do that. So let's try the blush and then we'll put on the highlighter. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. Okay. So not a matte blush. Got it. Can't get in the packaging. We almost have wet and wild status over here. You know, y'all you know what I'm talking about? You do. Lord have mercy, getting into wet and wild is like an act of Congress. Okay. I think I I think I got it. Okay, there we go. There it is. Why is it so dang bulky? It's got like a it's a super bulky blush. Like, I don't that's that's crazy. Okay, let's use our little Alamar cheek brush here. This is in rosewood. That's very, very pretty. I am going to do a little bit of blushing up here. It's satin too. Like it's not like it's matte. That wouldn't help much. Okay. I'm very glowy. Uh, do I need highlighter? Yep. All right. Let's, let's use, let's use the one down here. It's the, it's between the yellow and the bronzy one. Let's see how that goes. I mean, I'm just going to the gods today. All right. Oh, we be glowing. We are glowing. We are glowing. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I do not know how I feel about that. Okay. How are we doing here? We've got, let me get a little bit of a blend here. You know, to blend all the sparkle together. <laughs> it's okay. He did good, y'all. Support him down below. Tell him in the comments how you feel about it. I'm okay. It's all right. All right. Let's, um, let's do a very neutral eye look for work. I do not have any of these NYX palettes at all. Like, I don't, I don't have those. Um, again, this is the one they, it's like the pride box, but they're, they actually didn't change the packaging at all. They put their normal palette in a pride box and, you know, sold it, I guess for pride, but when's pride June. So yeah, that's the thing. Well, I'm glad I wore this outfit because I'm about to be incredibly colorful. All right. So it looks like these are, let's see here. Are they all matte? Nope, there's some sparkles, but they're the kind of matte with the glitter. You see that top one, that, that ready one? Yeah, there's some like that. Okay, so we, we have a lot of sparkle for the eye, I mean for the face, and not much for the eyes. But that's okay, we can make this happen, okay? We can do this. All right, so the lip is this, let's actually swatch the lip, because glory be. That is a beautiful color, and I don't own that. There's a... There's a swatch of the lip. So I think we need to go kind of purple, like the, the top two, well, for you, the bottom two rows, the purple berry reds. Let's, let's do that so that we have a shot in hell of looking okay when we put this together. Let's just, let's try it. There's no setting shade at all. Um, all right, let's. It's really difficult to tell without really shining the light on it which one is shimmery and which one is not. So yeah, let's let's go up up top with the lilac shade here. I've done a lot of purple looks lately on my channel, but that's just been that's been the vibe, you know. That's been the vibe. Okay, that's that's got some pigment to it. That's got some pigment to it. Okay, we're doing a purple eye today. That's that's what's happening here. <sighs> Do I want like a red purple, like a coral purple? I decided yes. really know how to make this work, but we're about to. 
Don't know that I've ever combined coral and lilac before, but needs must when you have zero neutral shadows. <laughs> so someone had the suggestion to go into TJ Maxx, send him into TJ Maxx to buy me like five palettes. That scares the hell out of me, y'all. Um, plus, he is a stickler for packaging being shut. He would never come out. He would still be there looking for a palette that's, that's you know, that's sealed tight. I don't, it would not be, it would not be fun for him. I'll tell you that. Okay, let's get a darker color in the outer portion. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just mix the, no, I'll, I'll do the darker purple. Let me just do that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll, you can tell that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there's the dark purple. It's dark. On this side, for some reason, if I don't turn the brush upside down, I can't get next to my lash line. I don't know what that's about. Okay, let's blend this. So if any of my coworkers are watching, this is why I look like a crazy person at work today. Let's blame Mr. Mugwump. Okay. Uh, there's, there's the, <laughs> there's the color story there. So there is a matte with shimmers red that I could put on my lid. That would look crazy, wouldn't it? There's a pink. Maybe the pink. Let's do the pink. It these are these are like they're essentially all matte. Like there's not there's no real shimmer. I know I could use the highlighter, but it's all gold, which we're gonna put one in the inner corner, but I don't know how that's gonna look. I mean I don't know how any of this is looking, but here we are. Okay. Lost some in the kind of the center of the lid. It's that's a look right there. That's a look. Oh, we gotta put on lashes today, y'all. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay, well. It's, it's matte, but it's very pretty. I see no fallout. Good job, NYX. All right. Just use this bright pink matte on the lid. Do you have, do you have any of these NYX palettes? I got, Ulta had a sale at like a super duper sale, like a pre-Black Friday kind of thing. It may still be going on today. This is Monday, the whatever. -th. Um, <laughs> the 16th, it's the 16th. Um, if that sale is still going on, check it out. But they had a lot of palettes that were that were marked way down. And I did get one of the big NYX Ultimate, I think it's the Utopia palette. I've been stalking it, but it went, they want $35 for it. And I'm like, not for me, you don't. So I've been stalking it and I think they had it for like $24.50. And I was like, okay, for $24.50 for like 35 shadows, I'll I'll get that. Because I wanted to I wanted to try it and review it and all that. Okay. These are the eyes. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay. I have a black eyeliner from CoverGirl. Let's try this out. This is the color 230 black ink. One of these retractable dilly doos here. I think this is your line. Just, just across the lid. I mean, I'll the lash line. You've already messed up. It's okay. It's pretty pretty.
a little. Okay. Shall we smudge them a little bit? Let's smudge them just a smidge. Don't know if that helped or not. Okay. I can't believe I have to put on lashes. Okay, let me do some mascara. And then we'll put on lashes. I have so somebody asked me for a lash tutorial. I, I'm not the person, but we're doing lashes today. You guys would just he he bought them, we wear them. I don't know. I do not know. I'm gonna clean up a little bit on the outer corner too, because I got a lot going on there. We might need a lower lash line today. Y'all know I don't ever do that. But I can if the look calls for it. And this look just might, I don't know. I'm pinching skin and I can't figure out why. Lord Jesus, that was that took an act of Congress too. This always happens on a Monday. Where I am gonna go natural and then I just turn into a Vegas showgirl, but that's okay. That is all right. We are doing well. Okay, let's you know, let's 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 put on lashes. No idea how this is gonna go. I've never put on lashes on camera before on my channel. Um, but yeah, that this is great fun. I have I probably should do like a video about lashes because I'm someone who began to use lashes like really late in life thinking that I wasn't going to be able to like all that like I really think that I really thought that I was I would I would never be the type of person to wear them and for some reason I thought false lashes had a type you know what I'm talking about um and so I never I never tried it was really a thing and then I was just one day I was like you know what I want to try and so I did, and I'm so glad that I did. I don't wear them all the time. Part of it is because uh, of the state of the world right now. I don't go, I'm not going anywhere. I don't go to work. You know, I'm just, I wear makeup at home because I love it so much. I don't love putting on false lashes. So that's a thing. All right. I don't know. Do we have to trim these or not? Let's see here. No, we don't. Okay. Okay. I've got some AOA Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I've been trying this. I typically use the Duo with Vitamins. Um, I've got some of that around too, that if this doesn't work so well, I can use that. But this was a little bit more easily accessible. So I paint the stuff on and then I wait just a little while like anyone else. like I've watched Emily Noel her lash tutorial was the person that I watched to like teach me how to do it I've watched a lot of other people's who they're like I have an easier way and you know, sometimes they paint the lash adhesive onto their you know onto their lash line like a liner and then they put it on that doesn't seem to work so great for me I have odd lashes that curl funny and so it's a little bit more difficult um, for me. So typically what I do, I'm going to try to talk us through this while I do this, is I grab the lash in the center of the lash. Um, and I look, I put the mirror down. I look down. I place the center of the lash. I place the end of the lash. And then this is the part that's a little tricky is to get in the inner corner. I have a little tool. I have a bigger one too. It came with like a pack of lashes. It can help me get the lash band down, which in my inner corner is the struggle. When you have hooded eyes, sometimes you can't, it's really difficult to get in there. Okay. 
when I think I have it on, then I do the part where I push it up from underneath and blink down on to the lash. I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. I mean, normally I'd run away and do this in a hole privately because this is hard for me. This is a difficult one for me is lashes. Okay. It's down. These are really nice. They're, they're, I don't have to cut any off. I have small eyes. I mean, I don't have very large eyes. These are down. Okay. I have no mascara on my, my lashes yet. I'm going to put mascara. Sometimes if I, if I know I'm going to use the lashes a whole bunch of times, like some, like some, you know, nice lashes, some lily lashes or, um, some of those kinds, um, then I will, I will not put mascara on. I'll put mascara on before and then put it down. But putting mascara on before has its uh, trappings as well. So just know that. Okay, let me do the other lash real quick. Um, this is an accomplishment for me, y'all. I know that this may not be a big deal uh, to watch. It's a big, it's a super big deal for me to actually film. So yay, I think I just jankied up this lash beyond. I did, I pulled too hard. Okay, can we get it, can we get it back? I think we can. Okay. I pulled too hard to remove it. And I jankied the lash a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. All right. I don't have an opinion on the, on the, on the shop Miss A lash glue yet. Um, and I don't know if it's a $1 or $1.88. Um, if you haven't looked at shop Miss A for makeup and beauty products, um, they've got a lot and they are very inexpensive. The ones that cost more than a dollar, they support some charities. They are an American brand and they have house brand AOA Studio, which is what this lash glue is. I use a lot of their products because I like inexpensive makeup and I like inexpensive good makeup. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Again, these are the little, little black dress. They have crisscross lashes. A pretty, a pretty good band, but not a super thick, thick band. It's black though. You'll need to have, um, you'll need to be aware of that. I like bands that I like invisible bands. Um, and I'll, I'll do, a, I'll do a lash video one day where I tell you kind of my favorite inexpensive lashes and why I like them. Because I am, again, I am an amateur lash wearer. I've only been doing it for a few years and even, I do not do it every day. I don't do it even every other day. It's you know, with the state of the world. I don't do it hardly at all. Okay, let me get, I was about to do it wrong. I have to, I have to be careful to hold it in the middle because that way I know where to go on my eye. Okay. I set down the middle. I set down the outer and the outer is not wanting to sit down. So we're going to have to work a little harder and use my tool to sit down the inner. For some reason, I can't. Some people use tweezers. It doesn't matter. It's just something other than your finger. This glue dries clear and I think I have like a black glue, but it didn't come in a brush on applicator. The one that I bought, it was just a tube. I don't do well with a tube of glue. I do much better with a brush on. So some of this is the tools that you use, make it, you know, to where you, you are confident or not confident. Like it's a thing like, I, so I'm, you know, my lash glue has like a brush. I, that's the kind that I prefer. Some people will just squirt it on. Some people put glue down on a palette and drag their, their lash through. There are a lot of different ways to glue up your lash. They do sell lashes with adhesive already on them. I've never tried those, but that seems to be an easy way to start as well. If the glue portion trips you out, then you could certainly 
start that way. You could also start with individual lashes. And I, what I mean by that is, you know, little clumps of lashes that you put on. So it's just a little bit and you just, you're just sticking the one on instead of the strip. There's a lot of ways to begin wearing uh, lashes, but there's those. They're, they're really natural. There's a slight flare on the end. I'm going to have to do a little bit more work with liner. Uh, for me, I like to tight line when I'm wearing lashes. I think it looks nicer. I have no idea if this CoverGirl liner is going to be good for tight liner, but we're about to find out. I just think it helps to blend the lash band in. And then let's do some mascara. Okay, I want I want to use mm -hmm, I want to use some drugstore. Let's use the Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof, which is the one he got me from Ulta. Let's use this one. Sorry, I have to open my mouth. And stop talking. So I'm going, you know, just underneath. I'm darkening up my lashes. I think that's going to be all that I want to use for there. I've got a little bit on my face. Let's see if I can get it off. bit here and here okay I think that looks nice I think that looks nice my freckles are showing through today y'all let's get a little inner corner highlight um, let's use the same highlighter we used on our face this one down here because I just don't think a stark gold highlighter would look good but what do I know that didn't do a whole lot, did it? No. Okay, well, uh, lip. I got no setting spray. He, he didn't care about me that much. All right, this is the Revlon Metallic in HD Glam. Ooh, sorry. It smells like cupcakes. I got no lip liner. So we're just going for it. Is this just a gloss? Ultra HD matte lip color, but then it says metallic. It is metallic. Borderline frosty. How can you be matte and metallic? Aren't those two things like opposites I don't know. what do you think this is the look this is his look we are not bronze for the gods today we are glowing for the gods today look at that glow look at that glow but we also have incredibly natural looking skin because this is sheer to light coverage this foundation so we're looking schoolgirl fresh with freckles which i don't typically sport that's unique for me We've got the lashes on a Monday. Here We're doing it today. Frosty lip, pink, purple moment. What do you think? Did he do okay? I think he did great. Honey, you are a mate. He's not here. <laughs> he dropped off the bag and rolled out. <laughs> so he's gone. So I will talk to you here. Honey, you did a good job. This is good. I cannot believe how you can walk into a store and buy all of these products and I own none of them. I don't know how you do that, but uh, I like your sorcery, honey. That's not code for anything, all you creepers. It's <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, tell Mr. Mugwump down below because he's a good sport for doing it. He does not love uh, going into a store and buying a full face of makeup, um, but he does it for y'all. 
So it has nothing to do with me. So if you liked it, please tell him down below. Also give him suggestions about the next place he should go to find so to find a full face of makeup. I'm sure he'll love he'll love that. <laughs> he's <laughs> right now, as he's watching this, he is yelling at me from the room he's watching it in right now. You wait. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You'd really help out my channel and help me out. If you really liked it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And that way all of my videos come to your YouTube subscription feed. It is free. And that way you won't miss a video. Thank you so much again. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.